Okay, now, like I said before, when I get to that part, I want the wah to be engaged. And so the wah pedal I'm using is a 535Q by Crybaby. And this allows me to shape the kind of like the bandwidth, which is also called the Q, shape the tone of that wah pedal and the frequency of it. So I'm gonna turn it all the way to the lower throaty sound. See kind of where that puts me. I think that's the higher sound. Let me go, I think it's forward that gives me the deeper sound. It's very war, you're very. So when we get to the end, somehow I've got to have this engaged and be able to start with it. All right, so let's go back to that. And most likely I want to hit a C sharp there. So let's aim for one somewhere. Another thing I want to do at the very end, somehow, I want to have my whammy bar ready because I, I kind of hear this in my head. Maybe not that much. Maybe something like that where it kind of fades out. Okay, maybe end it like that. So let's see if I can get that to happen. I gotta make sure that wall pad lifts because that's a terrible hiss at the end. Somewhere I wanna end it like that. There's yet another thing that I kinda of wanna have happen with this actual song. And that is some more expressive things, some more impressive things, I guess, to some people. So once again, I'm when it comes to that C sharp, I am kinda of hearing that Phrygian a lot. So definitely wanna kinda of fly maybe some of that. So we want to have some fridge in there with me. And once again, that's minor. If I just played C minor scale, that's not going to sound good because we have a flattened second there, not a regular second. So one thing I could do is just figure out what the fridge and shape is in this particular area. one thing is making the whammy bar do the vibration. Just do a big vibrato and just bend a little bit. That's really tough. It's almost like patting your tummy and rubbing your head at the same time or vice versa I guess. So if I want this to work and somewhere at the end I gotta turn that volume knob off too. So you really gotta practice that. You wanna practice on that knob and if I want it to be that deep sound on that wah pedal, then I'm probably going to need to be either on this pickup or this one. I've noticed with the wah pedal, a lot of times it's more defined if you use this pickup. So let's compare it. Let's go back to that wah pedal again. So here we are on the, the neck pickup. Okay, and then here we are on the bridge pickup. Okay. So we have two different pickup combinations, depending on which one that I want, based on how good it sounds. And what I want to do ultimately is a test with my headphones, because I can't really hear that wah pedal very good on just my little speakers here. 